While taste panel managers can prepare beer samples in pitchers just before they are about to be served, preparing samples in bottles offers some substantial advantages. Bottles can be prepared anywhere from a few hours to a few days ahead of time. We recommend serving bottles as soon as possible after preparation, but when they're stored cold, they can last for days without substantially changing in concentration. Spike bottles can be easily and safely moved from refrigeration to their point of service. The use of bottles allows tasters to pour their own samples, which makes serving large groups easier than having to pour and distribute samples from a pitcher into individual cups. Passing one bottle to groups of up to seven to eight tasters allows for fast and efficient service. The liquid format of our Siebel Institute sensory compounds allows them to be easily and accurately measured using an inexpensive laboratory pipette. The liquid-based compounds easily mix in the base beer, whether in pitchers or in bottles. So unlike powdered sensory compounds, only light agitation is enough to evenly dissolve the compounds. As well, you can easily spike beers with varying amounts of the sensory compound to result in different concentrations of the active sensory ingredient. When conducting or participating in sensory training, it is important to understand the meaning of aroma and flavor threshold. Each sensory compound has a threshold level, which is the level of that compound in a food or beverage at a point when the average consumer can identify it. In beverage tasting, we usually refer to that as being in parts per million, parts per billion, or at levels beyond those measurements. The reference materials provided with sensory kits will state information for each compound that indicates the approximate threshold concentrations of each compound in beer. In typical use, our Siebel Institute kits are designed to have one vial of the sensory compound added to one liter of beer which will result in a concentration of about three times threshold. This level was chosen because most untrained tasters can easily identify the aromas and flavors of the compounds at that level. With this in mind, if one vial of sensory compound added to one liter of beer gives you a three times threshold level, it should be easy to calculate how to prepare bottled beer. Choose a light, neutral tasting beer such as a lager style made from a large brewery in a 330ml to 355ml bottle. Since these bottles contain approximately one-third of one liter of pitchered beer, if you add one-third of the content of the vial to each of three bottles, you will result in three times threshold in each bottle. Measuring the sensory compound from a vial is done using an automatic laboratory pipette with an adjustable volume. Each vial contains one mil of liquid. So if you're spiking three bottles, you will need 0.33 mils of sensory solution which can also be stated as 330 microliters to be spiked into each bottle to give you three times threshold. You can buy a pipette that will hold up to one mil of solution, and that can be adjusted down to 0.330 mils. But the disposable plastic tip on a pipette with this volume is too wide to fit into the neck of the sensory vial and reach the bottom of the vial. Instead, we recommend the use of a pipette with a volume of 0 0.01 milliliters to 0.100 milliliters, as the plastic tips are thin enough to allow you to insert the tip to the bottom of the vial. Using the display in the body of the pipette, and the thumb button at the far end of the unit. Rotate the button to change the pipette tip volume 
to the desired setting. Each time you switch from one bottle of sensory compound to another, you should attach a new clean tip after using the eject button to eject the previously used tip. With the sensory compound vial open, press lightly on the thumb button until you feel the first point of resistance. That is the point where you should stop pushing. Insert the tip into the vial and slowly draw out the sample until the button is completely released. The point of the first stop on the button will change depending on what volume the pipette is set for. With the pipette tip now containing the right amount of sensory compound, eject the compound into the bottle. If you are drawing multiple times from the sensory vial, keep using the same tip until you are ready to sample another compound with the pipette. Bottles of cold beer available. Assemble all the goods you need to spike bottles, including a pipette with the appropriate volume range pipette tips, a bottle opener, fresh unused bottle crowns, labels for the bottles, notes about how to spike the sensory compounds, and the selection of sensory spiking compounds. With the pipette set to 110 microliters, the bottles uncapped and the vial of sensory compound open, measure out the correct amount of sensory compound, counting each addition of spiking agent. When you are finished spiking, you can crown each of the bottles, making sure they are appropriately labeled. To assure the bottles are properly crowned, tip each bottle slowly, then stand them upright, looking for escaping foam or drips. If a bottle leaks, remove the crown, recrown the bottle, and test it again for leaks. Keep the bottles refrigerated until you are near the time of your tasting session. Then remove them from refrigeration, timing their service to have them at an appropriate temperature for the nature of the taste panel. Advanced ways of using the liquid format kits is to spike differing amounts of solution to achieve different threshold rates. There are many different ways to spike beer at different levels, and this demonstration shows how to use just one vial of sensory solution to prepare four bottles of beer at ascending threshold rates. Firstly, set the pipette to 100 microliters. Now, with each single shot of sensory solution into a bottle of beer, you will result in increasing the concentration of the compound in beer by one threshold level. To demonstrate, with bottles labeled from one to four, we will add one shot of sensory solution to result in a concentration of threshold level or one times threshold. The next bottle gets two shots, the bottle after that gets three shots, and the last bottle gets four shots. Each of these bottles now has a threshold level that is shown on the label. These bottles can be used to assess the taster's threshold level for the spiked compound, starting with the lowest level of compound and moving upwards until they can clearly perceive and identify the aroma. With the accuracy of a lab pipette, the samples could even be spiked at lower than threshold levels to truly test taster abilities. When preparing bottles in advance of a presentation, it's important to remember that the bottles spiked at very low threshold rates may decline in strength more notably than bottles spiked at more conventional rates. So avoid spiking the beer more than a day or two in advance of service.